Today, Becky and I gave a presentation to the Rockville Rotary Club about our recent trip to New York at the request of the president. We threw this together at the last minute and Becky only had a few hours of sleep. Also, I should point out that the video didn't work uh, in the sense that Microsoft and Zoom apparently are in bed with each other. And if you're using an older version of PowerPoint, if you the instant you start <laughs> The PowerPoint presentation, Zoom stops the sharing and it doesn't allow you to, them to see the full screen picture. I actually have or had the most recent version of PowerPoint on my system, but I'm just more familiar with the older version. So that's the reason that I was using that version. But I, I really don't like the fact that they punish you this way without even notifying you in an honest way. So the images will not be very visible. And with that out of the way, I'll go ahead and start the video. And next slide is Rockville Rotarians Rock, New York City. And we have our amazing Rotarians, Becky and Jason, who joined this trip. I heard they had a great time. Uh, everybody was great, I heard. And uh, may I give the floor to Becky and Jason? Thank you, Hande. We're going to use a PowerPoint slide, so if you can, okay. uh, stop I can that. stop share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So let's see. Oh, shift, shift, shift. Oh, there we go. Okay. So as Hande mentioned, these two Rockville Rotarians, among other Rotarians, rock New York City last weekend. <laughs> this, trip, <laughs> this trip was many things. Uh, most of the things can be filed under these three Rotary-friendly themes, fellowship, fun, edification, and entertainment. Edification, for those who don't know, is the betterment of oneself. Uh -huh. <laughs> We'll start with fellowship. Our trip began with a generous breakfast spread at Nomi's, the assistant deputy uh, governor, uh, district general uh, um, governor um, at his restaurant, Virtual X Kitchen in College Park. And as soon as I walked in the door, I immediately recognized Janet from the Gaithersburg Club by her picture, went over to introduce myself and immediately Ken's name came up and her immediate res response was, oh yes, Mr. Rockville. So just connections just uh, immediately uh, past the threshold. So fellowship happened on a bus. Ultimately, this bus was, was filled with over 40 Rotarians on our way to the Big Apple. And uh, fellowship can happen outside of cats like a Tessin. Uh, so New York City has a lot of restaurants where there's lines and there's other events that just constantly have lines. And this is one of them. And I was really not too familiar with the scene. I, those of you who've watched Seinfeld have heard about the Nazi soup kitchen kind of thing. But so we go inside and the portions are insane. There's lines outside you have to wait and then inside you have to wait. Mm -hmm. It was a must, uh, must do experience. Becky Jason, the slide is not moving in the Zoom uh, screen. Sometimes that happens like in your PowerPoint, it's moving, but maybe stop share and share again. Are you able, what do you see on your screen? We see the bus, only the bus. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you see the bus. <laughs> That's all right. We'll, 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 oh, we can do okay. it this way. We can there do we it go. this way. It's what you see everything now, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so we can do fellowship and queue for some good food. We can do fellowship over here in the lower left hand corner in the theater. So this is the first evening the district leadership uh, attended Harry Potter. And then uh, at the top middle is the experience at a comedy club. In the lower right hand corner, we can do fellowship on a street corner. And what's next? Uh, above that, below the Rockville Club of, Club of Rockville logo is uh, where we were talking um, with other other Rotarians we can in Queens. Law enforcement. And so we were uh, had the pleasure, uh, Nomi's extended family basically protects all of New York and the boroughs. And so this was a, a cousin of Nomi's. We, mm -hmm. we can do fellowship over here on the left-hand side in queue for dessert. So <laughs> food enabled our fellowship. 
get a better feel for what uh, was like inside a cat's deli. This is just a picture I took. This picture is hard to explain. It's, it'll take a while. I'll try to be brief, but for better or worse, I sat down next to a uh, past district oh, governor and I didn't know what else. What? I'm sorry, what? Just saying it's the Harry Met Sally place. Oh, okay. Well, at any Harry Met Sally. Oh. Sure, I got it. <laughs> so, so uh, well, what I was going to say is that um, I I sat down next to her and I asked her what it was like. I didn't know what else to talk about. I asked her what it was like to be district governor. And she said, as I expected, she has some paperwork to do and also some planning. But then she also said she adjudicates disagreements between presidents and members. And I was very surprised. I said, how does that work? She said, well, she sits on a throne and she hears the cases <laughs> one at a time. And I said, are you kidding me? I don't believe it. And then she, she pulled out her phone and she showed me a picture of it. And this is the picture that I later got. And I asked her, so are you saying that people are required to obey the president of the club? She said, absolutely. When people give the oath, they are actually bound to a secret agreement. It's in the fine print. And I said, so you're saying that if we don't do what is expected of us, bad things can happen? And she, and she said, absolutely. And I said, so you're saying that this blade had to have been cleaned occasionally? She said, absolutely. It's been cleaned many times. And I was very surprised. But the take home of all this was that if your president asks you to do something, you had better do it. Oh, wow. It, it, would it be the next slide? We couldn't see the slide, Jason. We couldn't see the slide, yeah. You cannot see the slide. Oh, yeah, this is the yeah. slide. Yeah. This okay. is also the district governor sitting on the chair. And this is the guard okay. who will behead you if you don't obey. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I didn't know that I held so much power. <laughs> you do, you do. Oh, my God. Oh, well. You killed people, too. I need to be very careful. Next up is uh, fun. So in the uh, upper middle portion, you'll see that Jason, before the before our breakfast, we walked in the door of Nomi's Kitchen and there's a free Pac-Man machine. So us kids of the 80s couldn't resist a, an eat and run um, game. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's the bus, uh, nice view of it on the lower uh, middle. Mm -hmm. And then just next to that in the lower left-hand corner is Nomi and Sean McAllister, district governor uh, with some bunny ears having fun in the medieval cloisters. In the upper left, you'll see me uh, a picture of me in the Red Ball Garage. Now, very few people know what that is, but it so happens that if you've ever watched Cannonball Run, it, it's a movie based on on what actually does happen. It's entirely illegal and it's an underground scene, but people are racing from the East Coast to the West Coast. And this is the origin of that secret underground scene. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also the next one on the far right, You'll see that uh, due to Nomi's extensive connections and also just because the bus is so big and was helpful and we were blocking traffic, we got a police escort. I've never been in something that had a police escort, but if you look in the top middle, you also see the police uh, guiding us through various parts of New York City. And our 80s nostalgia trip didn't end there. We couldn't resist taking a picture in front of the Back to the Future DeLorean, an advertisement for a show coming this summer to New York City for those that are fans. Yeah, a lot of the shows that are going on in Broadway right now are based on universes that people already know. So this is one of them. There's uh, Neil Diamond and a few Michael Jackson, a few other ones. In the very center might be the highlight for me. We were, I was told we were headed oh. to send a walk to Central Park to play some chess. I got sidetracked by the beautiful horses. Jason started up a chat as he does uh, with one of the drivers. He inquired with the driver if the driver knew where the chess boards were. He said, of course he did, being an expert driver. And to my surprise, instead of Jason's normal mode of running or walking to wherever we need to go, Jason alighted the carriage and off we went. Well, I later learned during the ride that he had planned this the whole weekend. So I had a, a surprise kidnapping on a carriage, a beautiful ride through Central Park. But later on, I, I did apologize to her for misleading her. When I said I went to the bathroom, I was actually calling the driver. But oh, easily forgiven, easily forgiven. Education and, and entertainment. So what do we have here? In the upper, uh, let's see, left-hand corner, here we are at our first uh, point of destination. We've mentioned it before, but the Metropolitan um, Cloisters Museum of, of Medieval Artifacts. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you read the chair to 
Center picture. So I apologize for the for the the fact that the the pictures aren't really showing properly, but this is a skyscraper, a new skyscraper using new technology. It's uh, like super tall, narrow or something. And it's, it's it looks like it's gonna fall over, but it's very uh, narrow. It's at the south end of uh, Central Park. I just thought it's interesting that we couldn't have built this maybe 20 years ago. Given the strong association with Rotary and the UN, Dr. Gouda uh, individually got a tour of uh, the UN. We're hoping to do that as a group uh, in the future. Wow. There was also the 11 memorial to, to the right of that. Wow. Yeah, next year. And then in the awesome. lower center is a uh, part of our cohort that went to the comedy club. They're standing with the headliner, a former uh, SNL alumnus. Mm -hmm. And wow. then, of course, we have some more uh, evidence of our musical and play support. Many of we supported so many plays and shows. We can give you all the reviews. I don't recommend Bad Cinderella. Nope. <laughs> This is amazing. So let's go ahead and not able to do this the way we had planned. So my apologies. Um, looks okay. like. So Hannah, you already mentioned the district conference. Just a quick note that it is local and near to us in Hyatt Regency. And as I said before, this is my first time meeting most of the district folks. And if you haven't met them, my goodness, and wouldn't you expect they're lovely, wonderful people. And so what a, a, a great group. Um, and then uh, as this group has supported in the past they were um emphasizing the heroes brunch just a quick note so not only did we have fellowship fun enlightenment and entertainment but we had service at the very end of our trip unfortunately one of our members um hit the asphalt um disembarking from the bus and immediately as you would expect uh, all Rotarians went into service. We had a doctor, a physician, we had mm -hmm. an EM, EMT and um, mm -hmm. a fireman who went into place. We had a, a law enforcement officer who went and got some ice, called 911. All, <laughs> all good news to say that it was superficial lacerations, but we had heroes in play at the end of our trip. The last thing that we want to talk about is the fact that this is a sort of a once in a lifetime opportunity, in my opinion. This is Nomi. And he is sort of at the peak of his life and career. He knows all the people in New York. He has a whole bunch of connections. He gave us these personal tours that you wouldn't have any opportunity to see otherwise. He is going to be doing this at least a few times more. I definitely recommend if the, you're given the opportunity to, to get a tour through him like we did, to take advantage of it because it's not going to be here forever. Next one is tentatively set for December. And that yeah. is it. Thank you so much. This is excellent. I think we all are so motivated to go next year. And uh, does everybody join me uh, in thinking that uh, Becky and Jason has amazing MC and presentation skills? I think we should we should utilize these skills more often. Thank you, Becky and Jason. You're welcome.